Okay, well, we're learning during the playoffs that Canucks fans can be found just about anywhere. Yeah, I found that out in a big way with an inspiring story that is truly out of Africa. So I got one of these for each of you guys. At the Light of Hope Orphanage, they've got playoff fever. Vancouver Canucks in Lagos, Nigeria. What do you guys say? That's Monty Racingani, a UBC engineering grad from Surrey. He volunteers at the orphanage. The children have embraced the Canucks. And now, towel power. We're going to pretend the Canucks just scored a goal in the Stanley Cup final. We're in the finals, by the way. If we win this, we win the championship. It's like the World Cup. That these kids can relate to. Game played on ice, 12,000 kilometers from Vancouver. Well, thanks to Monty, they're learning. It was way back in round one when we first told you about this unlikely group of Canucks fans. Since then, Racing Ghani, along with volunteers from the Elite for Africa project, and keeping the orphanage updated on the team's epic playoff run. Monty have gone back with the Canucks towels and distributed to the kids. They've done towel power and everything. Um, and they've also written letters of thank you to Elite, all the students, and also to the Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, the kids love it. They, we, they, taught, they learned how to play hockey and stuff and the whole tower power and thing. But it's not just about hockey. Racing Yanni is also using the Canucks quest for the Stanley Cup to teach children here about something even more important. And what does it take to become a Life lessons from a passionate hockey fan who truly believes that even in this impoverished African nation, we are all Canucks. Some really fantastic work that Monty is doing over there in Nigeria. More Stanley Cup playoff coverage coming up right after the break.